Hi crafters, I'm back showing you another one of the mini albums that I made. This is the first album I made. Um, it's using Kathy Orda's paper bag mini album tutorial. You can find it on YouTube and it's excellent. Um, to, I used the Tim Holtz Crowded Attic paper collection for the book and then the uh, paper flowers are by um, Kaiser Craft and then the ribbon that I used to decorate it is from American Crafts and this one again was bound with duct tape. I used um, black paper bags to make the album so I think that this paper collection worked really well with the darker bag color um, and then all the hinges are made from the Tim Holtz um, craft uh, cardstock collection it has um, some like clear embossed. I don't know if you can see the shininess on the paper, but it's been it's embossed, and then there's like maps and ledgers and all sorts of um, background type images, but all printed on craft cardstock, and then with just black um, ink. There's no colors or anything else. So each one of the little front pockets has some sort of fold out album, something to put um, tags and journaling in and pictures onto and they all fit into this front pocket and then you turn the page and then there's a flap on the next page that lifts up and this is also another pocket you can stick some tags in I made this little envelope out of the Stampin' Ups uh, scalped envelope die and this is the Tim Holtz glassine paper it um, has a really vintagey kind of feel to it it has translucent you can see through it but not really as you can't it's not clear what you what it is and then I embossed it with um, a retired Stampin' Up embossing um, impressions plate and then here's another one of the Kathy Orta called this um, little wallets I think in her tutorial and I just made a simple journaling tag and then more places to put photos and each of these has a sliding out pocket that's also great for another picture open it up again the pictures on these um, it's really fun there's buttons and um, patterns old cigar box type um, pictures and then there's um, uh, what's the word architectural printout, what are they called? The uh, blueprints, but they're not, you know, the old school blueprints. And there's pictures of butterflies and moths and advertisements, everything, everything very vintage, very has a nice old feel to it. This one I hadn't, I haven't made anything for this one, this side yet, but there's the pocket here. There's no Another wallet. Some. So everything has been matted and distressed. This Tim Holtz distressing ink works really well. I used um, the black soot, the antique photo and or antique linen and aged photo. I think is what it is. And this one, um, I made another little. It's a mini album to go in my mini album. So there's a little pocket on the side here, and then these pull out for photo mats or for journaling, and then there's another little pocket back here for a tag. Here's another wallet. In her tutorial, she made a um, like an, an, a pocket for these to go into, but I thought since this was my first one, I would just do one for each one instead of three. I think she or she made it's the pocket that she made fit three of them in there and I just made one for each. And then this is another one of the mini albums. The paper in the collection she um, has a tutorial for how to make these. She also used um, a Tim Holtz collection. Hers was um, Lost and Found. And the papers are similar as they look. They they look antiqued and they're the old-fashioned style. But 
and then I made a trifold um, photo mat for this last pocket. So I had a lot of fun making it and I would recommend everyone who is into making mini albums to check out her tutorials um, either on YouTube or on her website Paper Phenomenon. So thanks for joining me and I will talk to you later. Bye!